Hey everybody and welcome to another tutorial for the wonderful Elementor page builder in WordPress and today is all about responsive visibility controls and that missing option for hiding columns. So let's just jump to the back end where all you have a free column section already in place and if I look at the section advanced responsive I can see I have these visibility controls to hide on the different devices and I also have that on a widget as well but when I come to actually look at the column that option is actually unavailable. So today, if I wanted to say, have this section displayed differently on different devices, I would have to duplicate the section. And because I'm not adding content, I would just want to hide something. I have to remove the column I don't want. And then I go onto each of the sections and I go to my advanced tab and I set the responsive controls accordingly for this section and this section. But it seems awfully efficient to create additional sections to basically remove content as columns from them. So there's got to be a better way of doing this. So let's just remove this and let's just start with, let's hide a column on our tablet or our phone. So I'm just going to make a duplicate of this and I'm going to say I don't want to have this column visible on my tablet or phone. So I'm going to select the column. Go to the advanced tab under the element style. I'm now going to apply these elemental specific class of Elementor hidden tablet. Okay, and the second, and there's three in total. I'm going to apply it also to Elementor hidden phone. So now, when I actually come to preview this on the tablet device, what I'll see is I actually have now removed the desktop and I have the two columns in place. And I can easily fix the gap here by using the responsive controls for column widths by just effectively selecting that column on the tablet. I want to set that to 50% wide. I'm going to leave the mobile, which will default to 100% and stack. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same for the second column where I apply 50% on that. And now when I close them off, I can now see that I have my two columns spanning to 50% and all three columns will reappear when I'm on my desktop mode. So there we go, that's the easy way of doing it when it comes to hiding columns on your tablet or your mobile. But however, you can't apply that same ability when it comes to desktop. It's not possible because the three columns have to add up to 100%. So how do we go about, let's say, hiding this column on our desktop mode? So let's go to the advanced tab of that column, again under element style, and on the CSS classes, we're gonna use the third of the of the free hidden options. And so we have this Elementor hidden desktop. Okay, so now when we actually look at the preview of this, what we see is we've got our two columns and our mobile one is missing, but we have no ability within the actual interface to make these expand across that missing gap. So the way we fix this is we go to the section and we're gonna to go to advanced and we're gonna create ourselves a new class. And basically, again, I start with my initials I'm targeting the column. There's gonna be a flex option going on here and I actually wanna apply the DB flex grow to it. So this makes it very specific to that section only. So let's just, sorry, let's cut and paste that. And now we're gonna target the columns that live within that section. Let's just DB column flex grow and then dot elementor hyphen column and we're going to take advantage that the columns already sit inside a flex container anyway and we're going to use this shorthand property of flex which is a combination of the flex grow flex shrink and flex basis okay so flex grow can be set to zero or a number above that so setting it to zero says i cannot grow and you can see all the elements automatically shrink so i'm going to set this to one which says it can grow for the shrink in this instance, it doesn't matter, but I don't mind if it does shrink, so again, I'll set that to one. And then the size that I would expect these columns to naturally stay at, I'm just gonna to set to auto. So now in doing so, we can see that the columns automatically grow to fill up the gap. Okay, so again, just to prove that, we're gonna just take the code out again, and we can see without the code, we end up with our columns and our gap. And then with the code in place, we see the gaps automatically filled in. So there we go, a very, very, very simple fix of being able to hide columns within a section based upon different device sizes, and we can effectively fix the 
gap that will be left behind on the desktop mode using that very, very simple statement here and just using a singular property. So again, taking advantage of the CSS within Elementor already to help us improve our responsive designs within our website. And once again, I hope you found this interesting and that's all from me.